Congressman Smith, welcome to the show. Thanks for coming on. I have to ask you about this bill that you're proposing. A lot of the talk is about the shutdown of the Abbott uh, manufacturing facility, sure. the stockpiling that people were doing during COVID. But this really comes down to trade policy, does it not? Uh, it's a great question. And yes, our Formula Act of, of 2022 uh, would seek to get the administration to quickly come to terms with an international standard to allow uh, the importation uh, of baby formula. Unfortunately, uh, we don't allow that. And, you know, we, we want the highest possible standards. Uh, but even Abbott Lab, Abbott, um, uh, which manufactures the majority of it for the United States, and they've been shut down, as you know, uh, they have a plant in Ireland, and they're bringing some of that over here now. But we need redundancy, and we need some uh, the ability, when there's a shortage, uh, supply chain shortage, uh, to be able to quickly correct it uh, for the sake of the moms and especially for their babies. There have been warnings for years, Congressman, yeah. that these four companies that produce uh, the majority, about 90 percent of baby formula, you know, are vulnerable to disruptions in the supply chain. Why did it take a, a crisis, really, a, a massive shortage like this, for us to take a look at this issue of how we import formula? It's a great question, and it seems to be the way Congress and so many governments work. Uh, it's only when the crisis hits, it hits hard, uh, that meaningful action is taken. Uh, but this was predictable, as you said. There's been, uh, when you have monopolies uh, and there's too few uh, uh, manufacturers in this case, it does lend itself to a crisis at some point, and that is exactly what we have. As you know, Abbott um, did shut down the plant in Michigan uh, because there was some contamination uh, alleged, which seems to be credible. Uh, so you want the safest possible product, but you have to have redundancy. And uh, that's why more, not less competition. And even if it means on the short term, uh, getting it from Ireland or somewhere else, uh, you know, for the sake of those babies, and their, uh, we need to do it. Does your legislation, Congressman, also look to open the doors with our largest trading partner, Canada? A lot of these uh, formula manufacturers overseas are, as you said, Ireland, uh, Germany, uh, elsewhere in that region. Our biggest trading partner right here, Canada. Does this address that as well? Uh, it doesn't directly, but indirectly it certainly does, uh, because we all need to look at the fact that, you know, when it comes to dairy, uh, there are a lot of controls that were put in by the the follow-on to the to the uh, NAFTA agreement uh, that makes it harder to bring uh, Canadian imports in. Uh, and uh, again, you know, when you got a good product and you got trade that is on a level playing field, we should not be afraid of competition at all. And uh, so I think um, uh, that's going to reopen uh, that provision of the current uh, free trade agreement with with Canada, and it ought to. Congressman Chris Smith for us this evening. Congressman, good to speak with you. Thanks so much. Thank you very much for having me on. Appreciate it. Thank you.